Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're back with another Let's Play franchise mode. And we are in our franchise in the desert still, because we have still not started a new series yet. Because I really want to finish this one, but it's gonna take so much time still uh, for this one to be finished because we have like. Uh, we still have a lot of animals uh, to add in the Asian area. Although, it depends. Like, how many animals do you want to add, you know? So, it really depends. Maybe we can just make keep this a little bit smaller. Maybe just one animal here, one animal there. I want to actually add uh, today, I want to add the West African lion. Someone suggested that in the comments. Thank you for that. Um, and suggested to add the lions because they really, really should be in the African region. And then we have the South America region where we can maybe just have, I'm not really sure what animals we are missing, but maybe we could have one or two more. And then we we can finish this series off before we start anything new. We obviously have to do a lot of fill in the gaps and stuff. So that is definitely something I'm not looking forward to, to be completely honest. It's, it's so much. It really is so much, but, but it's so worth it. I mean, we have seen it with the Australian area. It is so worth it to uh, fill in the gaps and uh, make everything fit and match and yeah. So it makes total sense, I guess. Let's see, how is our zoo doing right now? Uh, we have dangerous animals fighting. Uh, so that is the African buffalo. Hello. Uh, why is that? Oh, we have uh, we have one male right over here. Well, if that's only one male, then I'm going to put you in our store center and I'm going to put you up for adoption. Look at our albino giraffe. Oh, she's so pretty. Is it a she actually? You say that? Yes, she is. She is so pretty. She's so lovely. Uh, but yeah, okay. Well, we already looked at her in the previous episode. If you have not seen that one, I highly recommend you to watch that one where we also add it. What did we add? Oh, that's right. The dwarf caiman habitat, which is located right over here. And as I said today, let me just check how my training center is looking right now because I uh, uh, I put so many animals up for adoption in the um, previous episode, I should say. Um, <laughs> but we still have so many animals in here. Uh, so you know what? I think. Um, I don't know, can I put two? No, you cannot. You can trade only one at a time. That's such a pity. That's really such a pity. Well, you know what? It's Saturday when I'm recording. So maybe, maybe, just maybe, right now there are more people playing Planet Zoo. So maybe I'm just lucky. Let me just put everything up for adoption real quick. All right, so all the animals are now up for adoption. Let's see if we can find already a West African lion. Just to be sure that we have... The West African lion prepared. Oh, oh, will I? <laughs> oh my god, you're so expensive. No, no, but you, oh, you are, you're not fertile. Oh, there are so many. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, let me just sort this on price. Yes, 10,000. No, I'm not gonna pay that. You are old. Uh, you're pretty young. Uh, dark sandy fur with dark long hair. I'm not gonna go for the albino. Frontier Zoo. Oh, okay. And then we have a male. Zoo Company. How do you match? Uh, oh, you are an albino. <laughs> do I do it? Am I gonna do it? I've never seen them before. Do I have like... Um... But they're not able to breed. That's the issue. I think I'm gonna go for this one instead. Frontier Zoo. It's always good to, to adopt them from Frontier Zoo. Uh, wait, uh, do I have it? Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, we at least have the West African Lion now waiting in our training centers. Let's see. Uh, we have... What? What animals? The pronghorn antelope is fighting for Elvis. Oh, I see it! Oh, oh, wait, stop you? What? You kidding me? You... Wow. Okay. That was perfect timing, though. Uh, <laughs> we were... We were witness of that weird stuff, but okay. Um, 
we have these two and they are fighting for alpha status so this is the youngest one i'm going to release you in the wild uh there you go okay that should be fixed at least i think do we have any more mills adult males in here i don't think so no that should be all right and uh ah they're so adorable oh look at that baby a calf oh man i just love to check out these animals it's it's it never gets boring uh, tell me in the comments if you have the same especially with franchise mode where you really are managing your zoo I can really just enjoy looking at all these animals. Aww. <laughs> it's so cute, isn't it? And it feels so real still. Yeah, sometimes you have like a little bit of like movement glitches or anything, but overall, I think uh, I think they did just a fantastic job on the animal animations and and I can just so much enjoy it oh that's right someone mentioned in the comments that we sold pumba we did sell pumba so i think we need to um name do we have an adult male new in here yes there he is okay jafari is gonna be pumba jr i'm not really sure if you're really a pumba jr but we can check that um that should be in here Unknown. Oh, okay. Well, we probably adopted that one in the, the previous episode. Oh, man. I'm just so much enjoying this. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> that research complete. Giant otter, cloud leopard, proboscis monkey. Proboscis monkey is going slow. Cloud leopard is, is pretty much done. I'm actually curious uh, with the giant otter if we did unlock anything new. Let's have a look real quick. Uh, we have a bone. Do we already have some babies? I actually want to see that. I think we already had the toys. I don't think there's anything new. Where are my otters? The otters are right over here, I think. I think we also need some kind of restaurant in this area. It feels kind of plain still. Uh, here are the otters. Do we already have some baby otters or is this going to be the bonus that we were waiting for to get them hello cutie <gasps> oh i thought i don't know why i thought there was one on the roof <laughs> Aw, hello pablo are you already becoming a daddy are the females in the water maybe let's have a look are they diving oh they are oh my god i love I love the diving. Ah, oh, that is also something I just really can enjoy all the time. Especially, like, the first... I remember the first time with the aquatic pack. Man, I was just looking for an hour or two just at all the animals. Just swimming and diving. It was just so magical. So cool. So well done. But I don't think this is going to die. You are not pregnant just yet. Um... Why are we not diving when I'm looking? <laughs> You're not diving, unfortunately, but also not pregnant. So uh, no babies just yet, uh, but who knows? They might be um, pregnant soon. How about this one? Pause. Oh, we are getting offspring. Oh, very soon even, the next month already. Oh, that's amazing, but that's right. We, uh, we slowed down the uh the aging so i guess that is why it's going a lot slower i do really like this habitat by the way i don't know it's uh it's looking nice the lighting is beautiful here with all the shades and stuff uh okay so we are getting otters here which is a very good thing we have a thompson gazelle with a very low welfare why is that how is that possible oh you're stressed from what oh my goodness yes okay i see Oh my gosh, it's so busy here. There are so many people looking into this habitat. I can, I can, I, I see. But you're already uh, doing a lot better now. So as long as you move a little bit to the side, you are doing absolutely fine. Just look at this. So many people. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
It's a good thing that we have like this really long viewing gallery. But that one is also like super busy, right? And we already had to put down these ugly glass walls. This is also quite busy. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, okay, uh, I had protesters in the zoo uh, before I, I started recording, but I don't see them anymore. So I guess that's already fixed. Um, and I guess things, yeah, the ticket prices I'm not going to raise just because I feel like it's not that much fun if I have tons of money. So it, with with reducing the ticket prices, I'm hoping that it's it's uh, at some point a little bit challenging, more challenging, I guess. Uh, we have a water treatment that we have to repair. Well, well, not we. Oh my gosh, they're both call mechanic. Maybe we need to hire a few more mechanics. I'm not really sure how many we do have. 12 for this big of a zoo? I don't know. I don't know. That does not really sound good. Uh, there is one. I'm going to hire two, though. Uh, can I right away train these two? Or do I need to wait a little bit? I think I need to wait a little bit. It's been a long time. Yeah, 28th of July. That's only a few days, though. Uh, but I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, so... Oh, that is not connected super well. Um, you know what we're gonna do? Wait, what is that? Oh, that's, uh, that's the water treatment. That's alright. It's already being fixed, so that's going to be alright. I think... Many of the tickets... Significant negative effect. Is that the round building? Yes. That is that round building. Yeah, it's always having this negative effect, unfortunately, but it's it's not that we have this for so for uh, that that this notification is always there or something. So I guess that's going to be fine. Uh, about to mature? No, my derpy baby bunk goofies is gonna mature. Remember, guys. <laughs> uh, there is no episode. We should not miss out on the bungo, the derpy baby bungo phases. Okay, well, the pooping, we can skip. <laughs> it's alright, but um, uh, Baruti is an, a male, so I guess we're going to have some fighting issue. Wait, didn't we have more derpy baby bungo phases? I, oh, there is one. Uh, that one is also a male, so th those oh, those two are gonna grow up very soon, and then we uh, we need to remove them already from our zoo. But we did enjoy the derpy baby bungo faces for the time it lasted. <laughs> They're just so cute; they can't help it. <laughs> Okay, so this is uh, this is gonna take a while before we get in some new derpy baby bongo faces in, but... ah, look at it running around. It's so happy that it's gonna be growing up, moving to a new zoo. No, we're not happy about that. Not happy at all. What was that? What was that? Wait, what? There are so many messages here. I have uh, uh, fighting lemurs. Fighting lemurs on our lemur island, which is no bueno. Um, that is really a big thing. Uh, four alerts? But what are the alerts? Okay, we have toy enrichment. Okay, wait. We need to fix that, I think. If we go to habitat. And then, um... Ring tilt. Oh, that's not working. Ring tilt. Nope, also not. Let's just go for ring then. Why not? <laughs> Why? How do I write it? Ring tilt lemur. Oh, just okay, like that. Um, if I just remove the blueprints. So what do we have? Fortress feeder. Wait, do we have a piano in here? Because maybe they can can be happy with the piano. Oh, musical keyboard. Yes, there is a sprinkler. A ducky. Well, they can play with a ducky, right? think they can okay so that one uh oh well there goes the ducky <laughs> do we maybe need another or maybe this one i don't think we have this one maybe we can put it right up here i'm not really sure if that's going to work i honestly i i wonder 
Did anyone ever see animals using this? I never. I can't remember. I remember that I was looking at it for animations for a long time, just keeping an eye out. But I don't think I ever saw anything. So, so what do they do with it? Let me know in the comments. I really have no idea. Like, what animal have you seen using this thing? I know the ostrich can use it. Um, I really don't know. I'm actually honestly curious. <laughs> so tell me. Tell me in the comments if you know. Oh, no. Wait, is there... Oh, the probably one grew up again. So, wait. Pronghorn antelope. Ah, yeah. There we go. Noah. Uh, why can we not... Huh. Why not? Maybe we can just uh, sell you from a... Oh, look! How... Oh, my goodness! That went so fast. We can trade you from here. Oh, my God. That went really fast. Someone just got all my African wild dogs. Like, all of them. Okay, these are still being traded. These are the two lines that we get. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, I did not see that coming. See? Selling on Saturdays. <laughs> That's the trick. Selling on Saturdays. Okay, you know what we're going to do. I think I think we are alright right now. And uh, oh, we have some vet research complete. Proboscis monkey and a giant otter. Perfect. Thank you. We're gonna start building the uh, the lion habitat as soon as we have some more light in here. And uh, it's probably going to be uh, split off into two sections right over here. We're going to make uh, something fun out of it. Uh, so yeah, without further talking, let's start building.
we have a staff room. Now, <laughs> we have a lion's habitat right over here, but this really cool uh, staff room. I actually don't know why I did not use that one before. I'm pretty sure that this one is also in the collection list in the uh, description down below. Let me just check. Where was it? I think it's this one. Modern staff building by Elitist S. I love this one. It's a great, really great ba uh, bathroom, staff room. <laughs> so we have, a, we have a lion's habitat right over here. We need to do a lot of decorating on the outside still, guys. I know, I know. It's a humongous lion's habitat. Why? Because I can. I, I really, I was like just building this. I was like, oh, this is going to be huge. And I was like, who cares? It's like a lion valley. Uh, so I actually uh, adopted one more lion. So we're going to have uh, two females and one male. Because it is so big, I was like, you know what? This is actually going uh, gonna to be fine. Um, so, so yeah, we have just two really big areas. They have a shelter area underneath here. Uh, so also a little bit of privacy just because they, uh, I get, I can imagine that they, they want that. Um, it's huge. Yes, it is definitely huge, but I think it's really cool. I think it's really nice for the lions. They have a lot of shade. They have a lot of, uh, uh, trees where they can climb in. I'm not actually sure if they will climb. I, I remember the time that I was. Um, I remember the time when I um, I was uh, building in Amasu and I had seen like a documentary about uh, uh, lions that live in trees. Uh, but they can also climb in these trees, which is really nice. I really do like that. Uh, and 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 if you're asking, wondering why we have this big water, because I can. <laughs> Because I just had this big area and I was like, you know what? This is already way too big. I'm just going to give them like this very beautiful natural lake. Which they're... I'm not even sure anymore if they swim or not. But it's not for the swimming. It's really just because I have this space. And I thought that actually looked really beautiful. If you had like this big lake uh, kind of in their habitat. I think that's just really neat. I actually didn't give them anything for, for eating. Why do I not see anything for eating? That's the thing. Um, uh, wait. Oh, oh, um, reset filters. Okay, that is why. I was like, why do I have only like a box and like a sprinkler? <laughs> so that is why. Okay, let me just put down some of these guys. I think this one would be very nice to have right over here. Uh, ooh, wait, what, 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 what was that? Um, why? Oh, okay, yeah, well, that's fine. Okay, that's one. Um, a blood pumpkin maybe right over here underneath the tree. No, we're gonna have the zebra right over here. I like that. And we need a scratching post maybe right over here. Shall we put them, this one right over there? Or shall we put it here? We can, we can also put it here, I guess. Um, is there anything else that I want to put down? No, I don't think so. Not that I can tell at this point. Well, maybe a fire hose ball. They can play with that. They like that. Uh, now the grass is probably gone. What was here? Okay. Uh, so the thing is, I was putting down plants and trees. And I was like, this is so big. They really don't mind. They ob obviously don't mind. They have like this humongous habitat. Uh, the sand, I, I'm just too lazy to remove the sand, to be completely honest. Uh, but they already had too much coverage when I checked. And I was like, oh, I need to stop already. Shoo! So that is like uh, uh, such a shame. But we do have like these beautiful lions now in our zoo, which is absolutely amazing. I was really worried about the edges that they were uh, would be able to escape from there. Wait, oh, I, I put you on pause. But they actually are not able to escape. Well, at least not for today. I mean, you never know. It's planet too. It, it could be. Hello, beauty. It could be in like a few uh, few weeks that we're like, how the hell are you able to escape? <laughs> or maybe when they get like the, the, their cubs and that we're like, oh my gosh, we have to fix a lot of issues. But oh my freaking gosh. You are just so pretty, sir. Mm -hmm. Aww. You're so adorable and so beautiful. 
Um, wait, okay, so we have three of them right over here. Uh, I do have stuff for them to eat. Maybe we need, and uh, we have a zebra, we have a frozen black pumpkin. Do we need a food tray? I'm actually not entirely sure if we do need one. Uh, maybe we can add, give them a ball as well. We don't, we are not playing hard mode, so we can uh, add that here. Uh, we actually do need some shaders in the future. I think guests can definitely appreciate that. Are you able to throw in food? West African Lion can throw in food. You don't have power. Shoo. Um, maybe we should just go to... We, we have power right over here. So it's just... It needs to be slightly moved, probably. Let me just check right over here. Mm, needs to be moved right to there. Shoo! Uh, it probably cannot throw in food now. Lock, yeah. Oh, well, does it really matter? I guess not. I think this is a nice area where people can, can stand and, uh, and, um, gather around without really blocking the path. I think this is a perfect spot for it, actually. I'm actually quite happy with this habitat. It's because it took, oh, took quite some time to do... Uh, these rocks. I'm actually curious. I was building this and I was like, who is actually still watching these speed build videos? Do let me know in the comments down below if you're always watching the speed build videos, no matter what I do. I'm just super curious. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, wait, are they actually... Yeah, they are able to reach the other side, right? Let me just check the mill. And traversable area. Yes, they are able to reach the other side, which is perfect. I really, really do like, uh, can we just use a tree or something? I like this, uh, this building here. It's beautiful. Really, really beautiful building. So I'm just going to put some African trees here because we can. And this is more of an African region. So I think, I think we should just hide this away a little bit like this with some trees. I mean, I, I think this makes sense. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff that we still need to fill in here, guys. A lot of it. But it looks nice. It looks so beautiful, this building. So this one has um, a, a big keeper's hut and a big staff room. A huge staff room. Mwah. Here's a tree. <laughs> uh, why are you looking at... Mm, just go and play. Oh, well, you're probably not going to play, unfortunately. Oh, but this is really nice. Oh, man, I remember that we saw pictures uh, before the game launched. I don't know why that is popping up in my head. And there was like this a gorilla poster and people were like, oh my God, we're getting gorillas. We're getting gorillas. And we were like, well, we don't know if that is like uh, anything saying about the animals that we will get. <laughs> it was quite funny. Oh, I've never seen this one, but I think it's a smaller one, though. I don't remember. I don't see a gorilla poster in here, but oh man, I love these uh, these interiors. They look so neat. To be completely honest, I really do like it. Uh, someone also mentioned that we maybe should add like another uh, entrance on this side or anything. I'm not really sure if I will make sense to do that, especially just to get some uh, some people in this area. But I also just have like this um, uh, maximum of guests on 5,000 just for the lag. Like I can imagine like if you're just playing yourself, it's all fine. But when you're recording, uh, it's definitely better to uh, reduce the amount of guests and stuff. Uh, but it's definitely becoming very big right over here. And I can imagine that guests also get tired for walking all the way here, so maybe a transport ride or anything, but I don't know, then I have to decorate it all <laughs> around it. <laughs> I don't know if I want to, because that is going to be so much work. Uh, but it is definitely a good idea to do so, I guess. Uh, wait, what did, did we have? Uh, fighting African buffaloes. Oh, why? Oh, there is another meal that grew up. Okay, put you in the storage tent. How are the, the animals doing? It's Saturday. Every animal is gone. Oh my freaking God. Are you kidding me? You guys are amazing. That was really nice. All the animals are gone now. That is really, really neat. Okay, so note to self. Always record on a Saturday. <laughs> People will buy your animals more uh, quickly. 
Uh, that is just great, guys. Okay, no, we're not gonna gonna do anything with the ticket prizes. Uh, so yeah, do let me know in the comments down below, of course, what you guys think of this. Are you playing with your box? What do you guys think of this uh, this uh, West African lion habitat added into our zoo? Oh man, I love these guys. They're just so beautiful. Run to the other side, do it. Or just chill and sleep here, of course. But yeah, do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this new franchise mode episode. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. And subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. But yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.